It is 7.51, time for Turtle Around Town, Friday edition. Today, this is so cool, Dana's at the Columbus Zoo. Ah, uh, Dana, you are so lucky. He is live at the New Heart of Africa exhibit. Dana, have you seen any of the animals yet? Yes. Uh, I've got one right here. His name is Goober, and he's an enormous camel. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's Goober? Just a second. So Matt is right here next to me. Yeah, Goober. Tell me about Goober. How old is he? Goober's 12 years old. Okay, how much does he eat, and how much does he weigh? He's about 1,800 pounds, and he's cleaning up about three-quarters of a bale of hay a day. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, um, hey, Liz, I'm going to bring you over here because Matt's down there. Now, can you help me get on to Goober? I'm going to do my best. Okay. Now, what's the procedure here? I've actually ridden camels quite a few times when I was a kid. Um, you, do you sit on the on what part of the hump do you go on? You can go either in the front or the back, and it's just kind of like getting on a bike. So you're going to put your leg up and over and underneath that bar. Okay, up and underneath the bar. Goober, you got to hold still. Hey, did you know at the zoo that it's National Turtle Day? Did you know that? I do now. Well, you do now. Okay, so here we go. Here is the ride. It's been, um, God, I bet it was like 92 the last time I rode a camel. It definitely is, ooh, it's jumpy. Hey, Pete and Carolyn, have you ridden a camel before? I haven't. Have you, you know have what? You I have. When really? When I was a kid, yeah. What's it, I mean, is it are you, uh, comfortable? I don't know. Um, well, it's not like my Honda, no, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> now, apparently, um, they're going to be offering camel rides like this all the time. Wow, it's like high up. Wow. You don't so, want to So like, people can go there and take camel it's, rides as well. Yeah, you can get a camp, right, Matt? You can get a camel ride just for coming into the exhibit, just for fun. Huh? Oh, you have to get a ticket. How much is a ticket? Seven dollars. Oh, Seven dollars a ticket. I think that we could, I could spot you two. Um, We'd for appreciate sure that. To go you, on a camel ride. Goober looks pretty cool too. Hey, I. So cute. I know. Isn't Goober like the best name ever? Yeah. You know that camels spit though, Matt, right? Matt, you want to go for a ride too? <laughs> um, he's huge. He doesn't even smell bad. You must give him a lot of baths. He bathes regularly. He bathes, he bathes regularly. regularly. That's, That's good. a good thing. All right. Now, how does hey, that compare to your Honda? I'm going to show you from the Africa exhibit. Well, um, I clean the Honda regularly, too. Oh, you okay. have to. That's good. That's very good. Thanks, All right, Dana. Dana. 816, time now for Turtle Around Town. And this morning, Dana Turtle is so lucky. He is exploring the heart of Africa. This is so cool. He's <laughs> live at the brand new exhibit at the uh, the whole region, I guess you call it, of the Columbus yeah. Zoo there, Dana. So before you were hanging out with uh, Goober the Camel, who right. are you with now? Well, you know, literally right before you came to us, we had a great big bone on the wing of this plane. And then one of the female lions decided to take it. And there was this gorgeous shot of her right there. And now she's in the back of the exhibit there eating it. Hey, Adam, good morning. Morning. Now, tell us about what we're looking at. This is the new Africa exhibit here, Heart of Africa, right? Yes, this is the new lion exhibit. Okay, the lion exhibit. Now, there's this big airplane here, which makes it really obvious. This is an actual plane from World War II? That is correct. Okay, so what's the point of having the plane in the exhibit with the, with the lions? Uh, part of it is to uh, help visitors get closer to them, and then this wing has an air conditioner built in it, and it'll cool it in the summer, so it'll hopefully encourage the lions to lay up on the wing, bringing the lions closer to the visitors. Okay, so there's two female lions and one male lion in here. Um, how old are they? Uh, Tomo is almost 10, and the other two uh, are 7 and 8. Seven and eight. And have they been here at the zoo a long time? Yeah, these are actually our lions that came from Asia Quest. Uh, so they've been here for almost 10 years. Uh, they were down in Asia Quest, and uh, we built this exhibit for them. So, wait, can they roam like all the way in the back over there, too? Yeah, you're actually going to get to see some really fun stuff. The wildebeest are coming running over right now. And if you can see, if we went over on that over there, you, it looks like there's no fences, there's no barriers in between those two. And the wildebeest and lions like to interact with each other and argue with each other. It's pretty cool. This is amazing. Okay, now, is, what is this supposed to replicate in the back here? Like, what's the name of it in Africa? Like a, like a Serengeti or something? It's a savanna. A savanna. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Um, all right. Now, how many times do these animals eat every day, and what exactly do you feed them? We actually feed the lions every day. Uh, they get a Nebraska uh, diet. It's, actually, it's called Nebraska. It's actually a formulated meat product to give them their nutrition. Uh, in the wild, they can go 10 days without eating. Okay, well, um, we're, we're running out of time, but how much does that dude weigh right there? He weighs about 494 pounds. Oh, my gosh, that is crazy. Well, okay, um, 
Yeah, so hopefully when you come up here, there's the wing of this plane right here. You can actually walk in the plane too, guys, um, and hopefully get a little better view of the animals. But this is very neat in here. That is she's awesome, eating that Dana. Piece of meat I mean, those animals are absolutely beautiful. And plus the fact that we got to see that amazing looking lion scratch his butt on a rock. That was pretty cool. Um, well, you know, that's what they do had an itch. in the wild. You got to scratch, scratch it. In the wild. I mean, yes. leave you got to do you. what you got to do. It to you. All right. Thanks, Dana. Oh, you just got to do it. <laughs> it's thanks, a beautiful Dana. day out there, too, and it's going to be a great <laughs> weekend, Marshall, for people to go and enjoy. The I would zoo. love to go there. This is so cool. Dana Turtle is live inside of the Columbus Zoo's new Heart oh, of Africa go. region. Dana. Hey, Dana. Here we go, hey can yeah. you hear us? Hey, good morning. So, yeah, I hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay, just checking. Hey, look at this. We've got some big giraffes. Hey, Jack, come in here uh, with me. So I'm enjoying your new Africa I'm, exhibit. I'm afraid of giraffes. Are you, see, I, I felt the same way. Now, tell us about these giraffes. Um, it's very interesting because they like leaves, and what else do they eat? Well, no, this is, not, this is Adam. That's not a giraffe. Well, no, this is Adam. No, I'm talking about the big animal with the huge yeah. neck right there. Well, right now, people come up here. You see what Adam's doing, what you've been doing. How many people get to feed a giraffe? It's one of the largest giraffe feeding stations, if not the, in the country. Now, you see the tongue 14 inches long there? But watch them eat an acacia tree as well. So what you learn about the giraffe is the tongue, without the tongue, the animal would not make it because they have to get the leaves off the trees. Uh, they have to go around terrible thorns you wouldn't believe. Also, Ooh. they have the same number of vertebrae in their neck as a human being as you do, seven. Can you imagine that? One of the largest hearts of any land mammal in the world. And plus, you know one thing they do? People don't realize they can kick sideways, but they also kick forward. For example, I've seen a, a giraffe try and take out a lion. They kick like this, forward. It's like deadly. And that's the, one means of defense, obviously speed. But the main thing is you see the wildebeest out here, the ostrich? They'll always hang around the giraffe. Oh, yeah. You see them? All right. What they do is they hang around the ostrich. Or the ostrich. The ostrich even hang around the giraffe because he's so tall. It's like a, a sentinel to, to locate like a lion's coming or something's happening, you know, or hindness. And they they, they kind of look up like this. They put their neck up, and then these animals they all stop, and then they watch what he does. So oh. it, it's or she. It's very fascinating. Now, how there's there's like how many giraffes do you have here? Because there's like five, six, seven that I I'm know, counting. Three got went loose last night, so Adam's still going down to Powell to find them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, Powell, don't worry. We have we have all the animals. We have eleven of them. We have eleven of them. Okay, now now the ostrich. The ostrich. I think they're funny. They're funny big birds. Yeah, they're real funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're oh, funny. Yeah, they're like a horse, but a yeah, bird. Yeah, but let me tell you something. Of all the staff that's here, Adam will tell you that's one of the animals you have to watch out for. Their speed. You see wow. that front foot there? I don't know if he can focus. He probably can't see it. There's a big claw on the front of that thing. Uh -huh. And I've seen a, an ostrich. Now, pride of lions can take him down. But I've seen an ostrich scare away a male African lion. As big as those over there. Oh, wow. And Dana, like I mean, you, have, you know he's cornered. Dana, they if you get the chance. Out, and it could be lethal for the, any you especially. But a human being, you don't go wow. near the ostrich in the wild. And not here either. Just tell Jack okay. and like, and well, everybody at the zoo time. congratulations. Because that you, is Jack. gorgeous. And I drove all the way to, from Ohio to Africa to do five minutes. You drove all the way from Africa well, to do five boat, minutes. Over there and they took a plane here. I got here. It took me 12 hours. Oh, really? Yeah, hey, five minute interview. Well, if you want to if you want to do our next interview on Sean Ireland's show uh, with Marshall, what you can do that. that? Uh, that would be 925. What animal are we going to do on that one? Well, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> He's exactly right. Adam okay. the animal. Ant too. Look at that anthill. Look at that anthill. Yep. Are you kidding? That's an anthill? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Thanks, Dana. Dana. Well, like many of you will be able to do very soon, Dana Turtle is on an African safari right here in central Ohio this morning. He's live this morning at the Columbus Zoo exploring the new Heart of Africa exhibit. Good morning again, Dana. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's getting really busy here. We've got Jack Hannock here. And what's your name? Malachi. Hi. Are, are you excited about seeing those big uh, cats behind you? Yes. Now, what kind of cats are those? Did you look at the sign? No. They're cheetahs. <laughs> that, there's a big enclosure in here. So, Jack, tell us about cheetahs. Obviously, there's, there are dozens and dozens of people checking this out this morning. Well, there'd be a lot more than dozens. We expect 20,000 today. 20,000 so, yeah. people. Okay, so what are the cheetahs are the, doing now? See right now, look at the cheetahs. They're watching the youngsters, the young kids in the wild. What they do is they look at the young animals, the sick and the older animals. But remember something. These cheetahs have not have been around a lot of public when they've been raised here at the wild, see? Uh -huh. So this is a whole new thing for them. Now, this will happen in about another couple of weeks. Now they do it's about a few minutes in the morning, they'll get bored and sit down. But you look at the world's fastest land mammal kids. Look at that, 70 miles an hour. You go home today, and you're going 60 miles an hour, they can pass you in the wild. That is absolutely amazing. So what's, what's their temperament like? Well, you know, obviously the, the trainers here have a great temperament. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you have no, to, yeah. no, tell me, remember something. If, if you saw the plane over there, uh-huh. if, if I were to go down in, in Africa on a plane like that, and I were to walk around and I saw three or four cheetahs, I don't have to worry about it. If that's one line there, I have to worry about it. They're a weak cat. They hunt in the heat of the day. A lion could take something out in 15 seconds. A tiger, 10 seconds. These animals, they have to grab up in here, and that's the only way. 60% of the time, 60% plus, the animal they hit gets away from them. Because, look, there's no claws. Their foot is like a dog's foot. The only cat in the world with non-retractable claws. Your cat can retract his claws at home. The cheetah cannot do it. So they rely on speed, hit them, and then they have to hurry up and make the grab. Because it's, by the way, a lot of them die from starvation because lions come over to eat what the cheetahs put down. See, so they're a very weak cat, but they're an incredible cat. They're the world's fastest land mammal. Now, uh, we're out of time on this one, but apparently we have a baby cheetah, right? Yep, we have a baby cheetah, and that's, you'll see one that we've one of the best breeding programs in the country with Susie Rapp and her staff, the wilds and the zoo. I don't have, the cheetahs we have are incredible. Yeah. Hey, you guys ready to see a baby cheetah? Yeah! Okay. Say yes! Yes! All right, so that's coming up at uh, 9.50, guys. 9.50. So this is very cool, very popular. What, nice. 20,000 people today, huh? Wow. Oh, yeah. Really yesterday was you, almost Dana. 15 or 16, and then the, the, yeah. over the weekend we expect 70,000 on Saturday and Sunday. 70,000 on right. Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be an enormous crowd. Woo!